My name is Capi, it's the name I use for my art uh, actions. So I'm coming to you from the beautiful city of Barcelona where I'm interviewing Capi, who is a hip hop pioneer who's responsible for bringing the four elements to Barcelona. I started dancing in the middle 80s. Then I started to, to paint. I discovered this graffiti thing, the music and that. And then uh, as soon as I, I grow a little bit and I start to get some money, I bought some drum machine and start to produce also. So I was like involved in all the uh, creative elements of hip hop from the beginning. I was just basically strolling around Barcelona and I found out where Montana spray paint was. So I showed up, I told him what I was doing, and the manager said, yeah, you gotta meet Kapi. He's, he's an old school pioneer. He's still really active. He does music, he dances. The next thing I know, we were talking about everything from the art to the philosophy and everything in between. You call this art, but I call it more like creativity. The, the creation, the creativity is the tool that emotion uses for, for grow and exist. When we don't do creativity, we are killing ourselves, one part of ourselves, the half. I brought up my tour to Panama and my interview with Danilo Perez, who is UNESCO's artist for peace, and how Danilo said that providing art and music is a humanitarian act. Bringing art to a place where they don't have nothing is part of the fundamental process to, to make them grow and happy, not only water and food. Is this universal? Is it the same in Barcelona as it is in, say, New York or New Guinea or St. Petersburg? Someone in the jungle, you know, that never will understand your language, they understand the beat. The, the kids, the, the babies, they understand the beat, they dance. Where does this power come from? Does the power of art come from the process? Or does it come from the product? Does it come from both? The result of making art. It means absolutely nothing. A canvas or a song is nothing, it's air. Have no importance, have no value at all. I don't value the results, I value the process. I value the contact, the conversations. After that, he invited me to go paint in this spot in Barcelona. It's this huge, beautiful storm drain that has art for miles. It was great. We get out the paint, you know, we start doing our thing. And he asks me, are you thirsty? I said, yeah, absolutely. It was a hot day. He gets in his car and he takes off. And I'm looking at him like, what the hell just happened? Because you don't do that in LA. You don't leave a friend painting and you take off to get him water. It was about 15, 20 minutes that I was waiting for him. And I'm thinking, am I gonna get jumped? Are people gonna come steal my paint? Um, what's gonna happen here? So he came back and I told him, I was like, what are you doing, man? Why are you leaving me here by myself? I don't know this place. You know, I'm gonna get jumped or whatever. And he starts laughing and he goes, man, you're not in LA. All in all, I had a great time in Barcelona. It's one of my favorite cities. And I wanna thank uh, the people at Montana for connecting me with Capi. And I want to thank Copy for taking the time to interview with me, for, for painting with me, and just showing me around and showing me how Barcelona works and, and why the arts are so powerful there. I want to thank you guys all again for following me. If you like what I'm doing, click that like button. So, uh, yeah, what else? I think that's it. My name is Capi. I'm in Barcelona. And remember, art is power.